Hey there, um, this is Inflame7. You might recognize me from my Microsoft videos, but now we are going to play a different game called Wizard101. I have obviously played this game before. Um, my best character is level 36, um, death, yeah, death power. Um, yeah, he's in Mushu right now. So we're going to be using him sometimes, just have fun. But the first thing we're doing is making a new character. Okay, so they just um, basically, well, hopefully you've already seen this, I, I, I don't really want to do a tutorial. They just um, ask you questions, and I'm just going to answer these questions hopefully. They ask what is more important to you, um, show off my skills, what's the most powerful, I'm guessing, well, I know what these questions lead to, plague leads to death, tornado leads to balance, earthquake leads to myth, this is Lisa Ice, Volcano, Fire, and Sandstorm. Wait, what? Um, Sandstorm, Wind? There's no wind. I, I can't remember. Well, I'm choosing a hurricane. Um, I like all of my classes. Favorite time of day is um, the afternoon. The most important thing in the story is the hero. My favorite animal is a shark. I just want to choose Storm, so yeah. So there's a lot of things I choose to do myself. Then um, Headmaster Amber just insults us, asks us, us if we're a boy or a girl. Like, how could you get a mess up? Seriously. Apparently, if you just click on it, you get to choose what you look like. They all look pretty. They all look pretty weird. If you know. <coughs> yeah. So we get to choose. Uh, I'm gonna make a mixed race if there's an option for that. This mixed race? Uh, he just looks so ugly. <laughs> I'm insulting a random stuff. Why is he glaring at me? Look at his eyes. He looks so evil to his eyes. Okay, then he Uh, what's the best face? This one. He looks nice and serious. Change the hair color. That's a nice hair color. Yeah, I think. I think that's nice. For Storm, it is. Yeah, let's go next. Okay, now we can change his... Oh, I want to change him to... There's no point really changing the colors because you're going to change them eventually because um, when you get to high levels in the game, you get um, different equipment which looks different, so I don't see the point of being in this, but yeah, I guess. Yeah, I look like that. That's good. Let's make a name. Um, the bad thing about this game is that names... Yeah, you pretty much have to choose a random name. You can't. You can make it up yourself, but it's not that great. Uh, what Kenneth, okay. Justin. I'm not gonna choose Justin Bieber as I do. I'm not a fan, by the way. I'm gonna get a lot of hate from that by young teenage girls. Thing. Yeah, I, I just don't. I, I have nothing against the person. Jordan, that's my friend. Yeah, I have nothing against him. I just don't like his. Stuff. Jordan, um, Griffin. Wait, Griffin? Wasn't that a house in Harry Potter? Wasn't that Griffin's house? Griffin, Griffin, Griffinson. Yeah, I think that was a house in that film, Harry Potter. Yeah, anyway, let me continue. Jordan Griffinson. Alright, now I can play him. Uh, I'm not sure if I should skip the tutorial or not. Nah, I'm not going to. Alright, I haven't played this in a long time, but I'm not rusty or anything like that. I know how to do this. So yeah, yeah, skip it. So basically, what you do in this game as an earthquake and master of his, what you do in this game is you are um, a wizard and you have many different abilities. You um, create creatures, you create creatures depending on your power. Um, I follow a storm, so obviously I'll create storm related creatures and yeah, that's pretty much what you do. And you fight and you fight NPCs and you can fight each other. Which is one of the reasons why this game is better than Toontown and they have um new updates, more things. Yeah. This is a tutorial so we won't be using any of the spells that we actually have. It's just gonna be their their spells. So uh, I'm gonna start with the troll. Um I remember one of them uses the scales for pilot eventually. 
which is one of my favorite moves. That's why I chose the um death. <clears throat> okay, now he's using balance, which is the scorpion. The scorpion um comes out of nowhere and attacks you. Now these um these attacks are way weaker than they would be in real life. Either they're way weaker or way stronger. So uh, most of the time it's weaker for the enemies and it's stronger for you. Then when you get to the real world, you um you are you become stronger. Yeah, because I'm Storm, we we have low health. I chose Storm um because the health if you, if you're with a life um guy, it doesn't really matter. Because they can heal you up, and you do have a lot of um, heavy damage. You do do a, you do a lot of damage, honestly. That's why I chose Storm. I've already chosen um, Death on the other character. See, this is the skeletal pirate move that I really like. It's my favorite move on it. It's the highest move I know on my uh, level 36. Now I'm really the uh, I don't see how much I should survive this. But well, anyway, during the tutorial, we all have the same, everyone who does the tutorial has the same amount of um, he health. So, man is there is a thing that um, that he just insults a man and then calls him a fool. Yeah. And now it's time for a unicorn, which is a life uh, thing. Yeah, the storm stop normally does about 375 to 435 damage, but now it just did about 7 and 70, I can't remember. I have a really short term memory. 80 or something like that. Yeah, now the unicorn, which doesn't heal as much, it heals like 275 to all, all people, which is a really good perk. Yeah. Now, Manasseh gets angry and we get some pips. Now, pips is what we use to cast high level um, attacks. Now they use weakness on me because they don't want me to take out the guy. Now, weakness is a balanced attack. And what it does is take um it turns your next attack and makes it weaker by twenty five percent. So if you're good at maths, you'll be able to tell that three hundred um minus twenty five percent equals two hundred and twenty five. So that's how much damage it did instead of three hundred. Now balance blade is the opposite of weakness. Um so from the same school, where it's the opposite of it. Yeah, so what it does is increases an attack by 25%. So um, if I were to use an attack that did 100 damage, it would be 125, etc. This is one of my favorite moves for Zyphe as well. I think it's really good. I just like the Senator and the way um, the arrow hits you and then it explodes back at you. Like, I just really like it. It obviously does way more damage in the real world. Yeah, now... Uh, after I ca casted the blades, I now can use Meteor Strike. And Meteor Strike does 395 damage. I can't be able to calculate how much it will do with a 25% bonus, but we'll find out. And look at the Minotaur. The Minotaur is another of my favorite attacks. I just really like it. And this is the Ninja Pigs, I believe. Yeah, the Ninja Pigs. They're also um, my favorite, one of my favorite moves. I just like the way they're so <laughs> their pigs and their ninjas at the same time and they will attack you at once. Yeah. If it was um, real, I'd be, uh, I would be um, hung, hanging my head down in shame by now. Okay, now we just like increase by 25%. That's 494 damage. Yep. Okay. And it takes out both of the guys. All right. So we have one victory. Excellent work. Now, um, Master, because he's such a um, coward, he decides to go away. And he leaves. Alright. Um, now, um, this um, old man, the headmaster of the um, of the school, is um, Ambrose. And he starts talking to us and then talks about chatting. I don't personally use chatting um, that much. No. Goodbye. Hi. Yeah, and then there's also the enter chat that you press enter to do. Yeah. Okay, now it's time that we get our stuff, like our shovel and our, and our wand. So we get stuff like that. Um, yeah, so he just talks about um, how um, we have the potential to surpass him as a head teacher. Yeah, so now we have to see him soon. Uh, I think I have to go on this part. Um, you, you. Most of the time, I just go to my, I just wait, and then he eventually comes up. Yeah, as you can see, it's really a wide, 
the wide game. This is those of people. Got to um, start recording again. Yeah, if you're wondering, I won't be so narrative. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I haven't seen this before. I haven't played this game in a while, but I still know how to do it. At level three, you can start casting. Level five, you get a pet. Level ten, you can do a PVP tournaments. Level twelve, you can garden. Fifteen, you can get a castle. Great. Yeah, I won't be doing much of a narrative style. I'll try and be com um, a comedian-ish, like I'm uh, talking about the game and, and making and uh, exposing faults. Another thing why this is this is better than most other um, a lot of PGs like um, Toontown is compared to it a lot of the time. Uh, it's better than Toontown, I believe, because it, it, ugh, just look. I, I don't even, I don't even know how to explain how it's better than Toontown. Toontown has hackers, it doesn't get anything new, nothing else is new. It just uses the same old things over and over again. I'm I'm not even trying to lie or make it I'm not even trying to lie, I'm actually trying to choose they they don't have any new things. Anyway, I leveled up here and this one I have to defeat some random white men in, in ghost armor. Anyway, and um, it's called the Ghost Hunters. Ha ha ha, that was a funny joke. Obviously they were trying to do Ghostbusters, but that was copyright, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Another thing, it's similar to Team Town, it's very similar. Um, also how you can't join sometimes. Sometimes they could troll you, um, like attack and use a really powerful spell to take it down at once. Sometimes they do that, but most of the time they don't. Um, yeah, you can see there's a weird triangle in the middle that chooses who um, fights first. Yeah, so um, most of the time, if you, oh, why? Why did I join? I forgot how these things are so weak and they can't stay in the battle for long. Yeah, um, I'd like to fight you. I just ran in, okay, can I fight this guy? What? How can both, what? I did not, oh, wow. Wow. Okay, in, these guys are in ghost form. Um, I just made that up. <laughs> They're in invisible form. Which is basically when they they finish the battle and other battles starts exactly where they are, so they decide to go away. Yeah, I just used my Thunder Snake, which is the um the most OP spell at level one. I mean, it's really overpowered. Um, I'm not sure. I've recorded 12 minutes. I'll cut some of that out, so I'm not sure. You should be maybe eight minutes into the video if you're if you're 13 minutes into the video. I was doing a good, do a good job at editing this stuff. Yeah, we have Lion, who is Ice. Formatoturg. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, novice Formatoturg. Yeah, means novice Ice person. Alright, so um, this guy is just AFK. He's just trolling me here by standing still and doing nothing. Yeah, I'll. Oh, okay, someone else says. Out of all the five, all the six, seven, seven scores, I think, um, death, or balance, or death is the best. If you have a person with um, both balance and death, that's probably the best. I'd say um, death as a main balance and secondary, and you obviously don't know what secondary means, so do you? <laughs> nope, you don't. So secondary basically is a, well, there are, there's a main. I am um, main with Thunder. I mean, with lightning. My main, my main. Oops, he's using the same. Wait, what? Uh, we need to agree on something here. Yeah. Um, the lightning or thunder or storm is the main attack. I mean, it's the main. Oh, what was I saying? It was the word. The my main score, my main power. Yeah. So I can choose a secondary one that I get to unlock at level five, I believe. I can't remember what level it was. And because that guy was a noob and didn't attack, I thought um, we were both attacked together and take him out, but no, we did not. And now we have two more um, loose opponents ready to attack us. So the next um, the thing I'm going to do now is use my attack again, I don't know, is use my attack again and try to somehow <coughs> try to um, kill the other guys. So these guys are lost swords. They've been lost for... We don't know how long. 
Wow, I'm getting pretty low on health. The bad thing about um about storm is that you get really low easily, and that happens. You fizzle, 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 fizzle. Fizzle is basically the equivalent of missing, missing an attack. That's all. Lol, okay. And the other bad thing about Wizard 101 is that you can't even say some things. You can't even type in capital letters. Like, if I do lol, it just comes out of lol. Like, what happened to my grandma that's teaching kids to be so rebellious against the rules already at such a young age? Gosh. So, I, um, the bad thing about Storm is that you really low, you get really low on health really easily. If, yeah, you get low on health easily. And, well, I'm just waiting for this guy to choose a gag. Uh, oops, I said the wrong word. Dang. Uh, I do. I did play Toontown. You probably know. If you play Toontown, you heard what I just said. Gag, which is what um, they use in Toontown to attack. I I need to get familiar with Wizard 101 again. I just made this person. Me, too, and... You're, I used the wrong, the wrong you're on purpose by accident. On you, YouTube. I'm recording. Oh, they, uh, I'm recording. When I was using my level 33, I got all of Wizard 101, um, half of Cockatopia, pretty much all of it. I still have more crowns, so just in case I need to um, unlock some places, I can still do it. Yeah, all the cockat um, half the cockatopia and none of Mardi Bone and a lot of Mushu, because I'm on Mushu my other account. The guys uh, say so we're seeing s seven night chants. All right, now we have to defeat some dark fairies. All right. Um, if you think the let's play is boring so far. Um, don't feel free to say so, and um, obviously you won't be offended if I block you because you're being rude. No, I won't. I won't block you for saying that it's kind of boring. If you say it's kind of boring, then I will understand. But if you say it's boring and there's and if you say it's completely boring, you never do anything right. Why am I watching your videos? I hate you. Blah blah blah. Um, if you say something like that, then obviously I'm gonna get offended and probably delete you. And also, if you could share this with your with more than one friends, the, pe the other people who play it, if you know any people who play it. Anyway, now I ta attack this um, little dwarf girl who has small wings. Well, ain't this game just fun? So yeah, the, um, this little dwarfish girl is it's really... Wow, she's really evil. She uses the blood belt on me. And that's my favourite part of the job, that when it comes straight to your face and bites you over and over again. It's just my favourite part, I think. Because I calculate that I calculate that my attack my attack will not do enough damage to take her out because it barely ever does hundred and forty five damage. Let's use the fire cap from Shumashi. Presumably, sorry for that. And yeah. Yeah. I started recording again, so we've got black screen. Um, yeah, so it does 135, which is exactly what she needed. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, this game really picks up after Wizard City. I mean, after this street, it really gets more interesting. And I might actually die if I try to go into a battle again, especially if someone else wins. Right now, it's not really um, hard. It's not hard at all, actually. It's, pretty, it's really easy. You still can die at some point if you're really a new, but most of the time you won't. And I could die right here if she uses a thunder stick against me if this fizzles. Okay, okay. If this does enough damage, I am lucky. Please. Okay, good. Good. I, defe I complete my task. And that's going to be all for this episode. And for this episode. And I'll see you guys next time.